Hey, good afternoon. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm here with Brenda Scott. She's a professional home organizer and the owner of Tidy My Space, specializing in organizing homes for those that are aging in place. And I'm super excited that you guys are here with me today. I am really excited that we get to have this conversation because we are talking about organizing and cleaning homes for our parents, for those that are our clients, for those that are our neighbors, people that we are close to. It could be relatives. It could be us. And so that's why we have Brenda here with us today, and she's an expert on safe living. So please help me welcome Brenda Scott. Brenda, how are you today? Great. Thank you for having me. In the bathroom, we have some issues sometimes. Can you share with us some solutions you found for the bathrooms to not just keep it safe, but also help us keep sanitary inside the bathrooms? My first one always when it comes to bathrooms is to get rid of the extra clutter. I know everybody seems to have too many bottles of too many things that we don't use because we buy something, we try it, we don't like it. It goes back in the cupboard because we spent good money on it. We don't want to waste it. We'll go buy something else. And sooner than later, it's just a mishmash of all these part bottles. So I always tell people, we need to go through all of your collection of stuff. Find the stuff that you actually like to use currently. I've even seen people that no longer color their hair, but they still have shampoo for coloring hair because it's not used. So you can either donate or toss depending on your situation. I know there's a lot of homeless shelters in our area that will take part bottles and they love it because it just makes them feel so much better if they can get clean. So if you can get rid of all the extra clutter that you don't want, just making it simple to choose and simple to find is definitely the first thing. Try not to have too much decor in your bathroom. Like I know it's pretty and Instagram looks nice when they have it. But in real life, it's so much easier to clean and get mold control if there's not a lot of knickknacks sitting in the corners or on the counters. Try and make it as easy and quick to clean and quick to spot if there's a problem. If you've got a lot of artificial plants, which are fine, but if you've got like a rainforest in your bathroom of artificial or real <laughs> plants, are you going to spot the water damage? Probably not mm -hmm. because it might be hiding behind something else. Sooner or later, you're going to have mold and then you're going to have drywall damage and then you're going to have repairs and it just rolls. Once again, the mats in the bathroom. I know it's nice to step onto a mat out of a wet shower but make sure it's secured to the floor. So if you can streamline everything in the bathroom, if you can look and see where you're feeling the most insecure, like if it's getting in and out of the tub or the shower, maybe that's where you need the handrails. If you're finding getting up and down off the toilet, you find you're going to fall then maybe you need to have a taller toilet or have mm -hmm. an insert on the toilet and some rails beside it. Yeah, and let's talk about the riser on the toilet for a second because I know that many of my friends are seniors. And right now I have a riser in my house. And so I just keep it inside the shower and you know, there's a shower curtain that blocks it from view. But when they come over, it just lifts out and it puts all right on top of the toilet, fits right over your toilet seat, and it has two arm rails. So it raises the toilet seat about this high, and it just has two little support handles so that you can lift yourself off and you can lift yourself on. I know this is kind of personal, but you know, let's have this conversation. Yeah, yeah. You can kind of guide yourself to sit down so that you don't fall in or that you don't fall over. And so as we age, it's really important that we are paying attention to who is my guest that's coming over because it's really easy for me to say, oh, look, this is a guest that is having a hard time getting up the stairs. What do I know about that guest? They have balance issues. So I'm not trying to embarrass them. I'm not trying to you know, make their life miserable, but they're going to be a whole lot more miserable 
if, like Brenda said, they fall inside my toilet or they fall off the toilet while they're at my house, right? So with just a small adjustment, oh, company's coming, let me hurry and pull that toilet seat out. And it doesn't cost me anything to do it once you've invested in those. And they're like 25 to 40 bucks or something. They're not expensive. But if you have elder parents or you have elder friends or you are aging in place, it's a great thing to have at your house. And now we're pretty mobile in my house, but I have a whole bunch of mobility assisted devices in my house right now. And so if somebody were to come to my house and I were to have company over, and I know for a fact, some of them just have knee replacements. Some of them have balance issues. Some of them are like my husband's mother. She doesn't move around as well as we do, but we're a different generation, right? And so I'm going to have near the sofa, a couple of bars, like they're just little bars. You just open them up. It's like three sides and you can pull yourself up, right? But if you sit on my sofa, you're going to like sink because it's a really comfortable sofa. I don't expect she's going to be able to get up from that by herself. And many people, I hate to say this, but many people are too proud to say, I'm stuck in your sofa and I can't get up, right? And so if you put something right beside the sofa, that's going to let them push themselves up and go, oh, hey, look, it's right here. I'll just use it, right? And so without having that conversation or without making them feel stupid or not independent, you can just position these things throughout the house. Yeah, definitely. And it could be just as simple, like similar to your situation in the living room where the couch is really cushy and you can sit back and lounge. My in-laws are similar where it's too deep for them. So if I know that they're coming over, I'll position some pillows at the back so that it brings them a little bit straighter up and they aren't struggling to get out or make mm-hmm. sure that they get the side of the couch with the arm so that they can have something to push up on. You know, it might not be that way all the time, but you just have to make it easier for them to enjoy the revisit. Thank you so much for today. This was really awesome. And I appreciate you guys jumping in and adding your questions and joining the conversation. So thank you. Until we see you again, take care and please leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.